we will ban military-style assault rifles and start a buyback program for all military-grade weapons that were legally purchased. This past weekend, there was a spate of gun violence throughout Toronto. There were shootings uh, north of the city, in the suburbs, and right near the downtown core at Queen and Spadina. Do you want to know what each of these shootings had in common, other than the fact that there were victims and there were perpetrators? They were carried out by people using handguns, not long guns, which kind of makes me wonder why our new public safety minister, Bill Blair, in Ottawa stood up and talked in the House of Commons about the need to ban rifles in order to make the streets safer. The presence of military style assault weapons having no place in Canadian society. They're designed for the battlefield and not for our communities for more than four decades. Police chiefs across the country have been calling for the banning of these weapons, and we heard the most compelling and, and heartfelt testimony from the victims of the terrible crime at Ecole Polytechnique just on Friday. Now, a couple of problems with Bill Blair's comments there. One, the chiefs of police across the country are not calling for a long gun ban. In fact, they're not calling for any kind of handgun ban. They will tell you that these things don't work. Secondly, why are we banning rifles when the problem is handguns? Illegal, smuggled handguns. Those, that's the real problem here, and yet the Liberals keep focusing elsewhere. They use the 30th anniversary of the Ecole Polytechnique shooting to start talking about this move again. It was cold, crass politics that has nothing to do with public safety. The next problem with this is that Blair says that they'll spend $600 million to buy back these rifles that they want to ban. $600 million. Do you know what they're actually giving the provinces and the municipalities to deal with gun violence across Canada? $214 million to deal with guns and gangs over five years. But we're going to spend $600 million to buy back guns that aren't being used in crime? It shows that the Liberals aren't serious about this. They want to be seen as being serious. They want to tell you that they're doing something about gun violence. But in reality, they're picking the easy target. They're going after the law-abiding gun owner who's going to follow the law regardless, as opposed to the criminal who won't follow this ban. Whether it's on rifles or handguns, criminals don't follow the law, which means that the gang and gun violence we continue to see on the streets of Toronto and other major Canadian cities will only continue despite what Trudeau says.